I just decided to come show you guys basically what's going on with the face area. I'm going to change the outline color probably to burgundy. So I started with a rectangle tool like I do with all my other videos and the other mesh pieces. Start with the rectangle and I'm just put it in outline mode. I already started here. The framework basically goes just like if you was an artist starting a sketch of a face. Just get the outline straight down from the nose, the bridge of the nose. And this probably should be around the eye area, but I will put one there because it's just a straight line from the bottom of both of her eyes. And this gets the, this brings in the shadows underneath the eye and above so something about there I will go back later and shape it but now I'm just trying to just trying to put the lines there so I could I will be able to bring in the color later and I will have a line about here and one possibly here and I put a line across the top here also when I get further into it but with the face you want to start with basic shapes like always simple mesh and you work your way in but also doing the face you want to start with um, trying to find a wording here you want to you want to be able to just put basic lines down so you can you can see where you're trying to go with it if that makes sense and the white of the eye and the iris the color part of the eye I would do it on a separate mesh These, the white would be a separate mesh and the iris would be a separate mesh and the black of the eyeball would be another separate mesh but the nose and mouth I will probably try to do it on one mesh it just depends it just depends on the detail of the lips and but this will be a close up so I will probably put it on a separate mesh also the lips but the nose I would work within what I got here because it's a simple shape no nostrils really are showing so I'll probably work on this mesh with the nose and the eyebrow I try to get the basic underneath color on this mesh but the detail of the eyebrow I will use strokes like I did with the hair tutorial and if you want to see how that turned out I got the hair here also so started with a just basic hair strokes and using the pen tool and I, I got a bunch of them so I got them layered right here I got black strokes top light strokes top I just say top because that's on the top, the hair main. It's going to be on the, on that top layer. So these are all the sh uh, layers for this, for the strokes for the main part of the top right here. I haven't even worked the side or this part or the ponytail, and they will have their own strokes on top of those layers. So just for the top layer, I got black strokes top, light hair strokes top, where well, you see the, the lighter strokes, just dark strokes on top, which is basically the same as the black strokes, but I got them underneath and above the lighter strokes just to give an effect of depth. So that's basically all you want to do with stroking the hair. You want to add a sense of depth to your picture. So back on the face so this line here comes in kind of funny I'm gonna zoom in and see what's going on here but the more you fix at the beginning just be easier for you as you go along with the picture Try to get everything lined up now so it'll be less of a, a headache later. And this shadow right here on the face, if I put a line here, 
Or I might have to put the shadow as a separate, just a separate layer. Because this point right here, it uh, prevents me from making this shadow go all the way down. And like I said, I started with a regular rectangle. If this point was out and these this point here was out, uh, you can see it is the shape of a regular rectangle. So, same concept. Just wanted to show you guys basically just how to get started with the face. And like I always have said, if you have your own techniques for doing something, incorporate your own techniques along with what I'm telling you. So, I mean, you could use your own stuff. I mean, whatever makes you happy. I'm just trying to give you just an idea how to start your mesh, not how to do it. That would always be a choice up to you, what you want to do with your work. But a lot of people don't know just the basic starting points for getting this accomplished. And that's what I'm here for. So, uh, here, just shape around. I will use my Convert Anchor Point tool just to make this shape go as I need it to. And curve there. And like I put it in, in my uh, description section on my hair tutorial, hey, I may say um a lot when I'm talking because doing the mesh, doing the mesh is hard within itself. And it's hard enough to do it while talking. So I'm trying to still, I'm going to make it work, but I just wanted to let you know this is tough and I'm, I'm doing a lot of thinking of how I'm going to work these sections and I'm talking also so it can be be pretty difficult but I, I just want you guys to learn the best the best I can do from the teaching standpoint So if you can bear with me with the ums and, and repeating myself on a lot of things, it's pretty new to me also, so with the teaching or showing. So as you see I'm just I'm just working these sections, just trying to put the points where where they can be helpful to me and Yeah, I'll probably put a point across here to bring the bridge of the nose in. Everything we do, everything I do with the mesh, and I'm trying to show you guys is just to make it easier, if that's the right word. Just trying to simplify this this which can be difficult technique just trying to just simplify it for you yeah. I gotta work this side basically same way I'm gonna zoom in a little bit Now we'll put an extra line in here, probably put more than one. It just depends on how the other other colors turn out. Everything you do with the mesh, you're working by eye and just the feel of what do you think should go where. So your mesh might turn out different from mine. Some of you might even turn out better than me with the mesh. I have no, no problems with that. I'm not here for competition. I'm just here to show. And some of you probably are better artists than me. 
but that's uh, either way. I mean, I'm fine with that. And you will probably, if you're not better than me now, you might, or you not feel you're better than me, you might become better than me. And I'm, I'm grateful and happy with that also. I'm just here to just show and teach. But this is coming out pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and put a line on the right here on the nostril part because it's going to bring in this shadow right here. Let me bring this over first. Thank <laughs> you. 